Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lecture series on the course Shell Programming. So we are in the process of learning different commands that can we can use uh, through the terminal. Okay, so in today's lecture we will see about this echo command. So let us see what is the use of this echo command and what is the syntax of this one and what are the different options available in this. So firstly the echo terminal is used. Normally the literal meaning of echo is to say something. Right, so the literal meaning of this echo here also is nothing but use it to display here also, use it to display a line of text. Similar, similar to your C programming language, if you want to print anything, you might have used the printf function. Right, similar way. Here also, if you want to display any line of text in the terminal, then you can go with this echo command. Okay, this is a building command. It that means it has been already des designed you can go directly with this one and the way it has been designed we need to use in the same fashion like echo all or small letters only now what is the syntax of this one the syntax is very simple mm. uh, it, it it consists of the command echo and then you need to have if, if requires you can go with some options we will see what are all the options we have and then we need to give the string it is which is also an option so whenever we are representing anything in the angle brackets it is nothing but optional okay so you can simply use echo or else you can add some options which we are going to learn now and also we can give a string so let us see what are all the options and this um, with and without this string also we will see okay so all of you keep your adding the first way of using this echo we will see all the things with examples ok the first way I want to use is nor simply writing echo without any options so whenever I am writing simple echo it is nothing but nothing will be displayed just a blank space blank line A blank line will be displayed. Let me show in the terminal. Okay. So, alright. Uh, I want to open my terminal. You all know the shortcut uh, Control plus uh, uh, Shift plus uh, T. Okay. Now, terminal is open. Whenever you write echo, nothing will be displayed. You can see a blank line will be displayed okay so in, in c programming language also if you have not written anything print of statement with blank if you write nothing will be displayed same way here also but if you want to display some string in that case you can go with the second option that is echo and the syntax is you need to write the string where you how you need to write the string you need to write on the string within the double quotation write your string then it will display whatever string you have written okay see no need to write uh, end with any semicolon nothing just write echo within the double quotes whatever you write that will be printed let us see that one okay let us see how it will be working in the terminal echo space in the double quotes i am writing my name then that will be printed as it is Alright, so the way how it has been given that will be printed. So these are the two options we have, these are the two things. See, whenever you can include the string, that is what, right string you can include or you may not include the string. Now we will see what are all the options we have we, uh, available with us. Okay, we will see different options that are available with us. Now what are all the multiple options we have? The first option we have is uh, my uh, like hyphen E. We have an option with hyphen E. We will see that one first. Echo symbol with an option of hyphen E. What is the use of this hyphen E? Now whenever you want to use this hyphen E option, it will enable the interpretation of black uh, uh, backslash uh, escapes. We'll see. We'll see. We can include backslash with the B character, with C character, with N character. Now, whenever you want to use this backslash uh, escape characters, no, we need to use this hyphen E symbol, which enables the interpretation of those things. So you can write down here enables the interpretation 
of sorry backslash sk characters okay now what are all the options we have with this we will see all those options now now what are all the options we have we have a first option of backslash b now whenever you want to you are writing backslash b it is nothing but you want to remove the all the spaces between the text okay this removes all spaces between the text we'll see how we can use that okay i'll show with an example let us write echo we are using an option of hyphen e and i am writing yoti and i am writing backslash b and then i am writing my surname okay understood here hyphen e is the option which is used to interpret this backslash b now whenever i am writing this one it will remove the spaces did you see in the earlier case i got a space here here the hyph the space has been removed that is what the use of this backslash which can be used with this e option okay the next option we have is backslash c now what is the use of this option is this option is used to suppress the new line understand here whenever we are uh, printing uh, whenever we are writing anything no echo character what it will do no echo it will print this one and it will add slash and automatically to the end of this one no need to add one slash and at the end okay so whenever you are writing echo as new character that is slash and will be added that's why when it will be it is typing jyoti mandala here echo and then the next uh, prompt is coming in the next line new line got it but if you are including this one slash c it will suppress the trailing new line okay how it will be working i'll show you that means it will ignore the next uh, uh, next to the slash i'll show you suppress trailing new line uh, automatically it will be added with the echo but if you want to suppress that one it will be removed that means i will show you one simple example then it will be clear what, what i am writing instead of backslash b i am writing backslash c then what happens no from here from here it will ignores the string next to c whatever string we have next to c that will be ignored you see what is the output we got only jyoti we got what is next to this one that is ignored and also backslash is also suppressed that's why we got the new new prompt symbol on the same line are you understanding earlier you got the output and the new prompt line we got in the next line but here you are getting in the same line that is what the work will be done by your backslash so you can understand here two points under this suppress the new trailing line and this will ignores the string next to backslash c okay i hope you all are clear now now let us see the next one uh, let us consider you want to uh, uh, include a new line automatically a new line will be added at the end of the string but in between if you want to have a new line then you can go with slash n okay this will create new line i'll show you one example so let us consider here i want here it is displaying jyoti mandala in single line only but i want jyoti in one line and mandala in another line then here i want to have a break then what we need to do slash and we need to put so whenever we type this one you will be getting an output jyoti mandala did you see this one did you see all of you so we can uh, add new line by adding slash n let us move to the next option the next option is slash t whenever you want to have a horizontal uh, tab space okay then you can go with slash t normally it will include um, one space whatever space you are giving that much space will be created there but to have horizontal tab space you can go with this one okay so i'll show you echo 
what i can do always remember you need to use hyphen e option because all these will be interpreted by using hyphen t e only okay slash t is nothing but horizontal tab space did you see observe the difference between here and here i have given only one space that's why one space is given here but tab space is coming here that is the use of this slash t okay coming to the next option we have if you want to have vertical tab space then you can go with slash v which is nothing but vertical tab space let us see that one also how it will be displaying that one instead of slash t we can give slash v did you see vertical tab space we got okay the next option is slash r uh, here understand uh, like it's uh, remember slash um, see what it has done whatever string we have next to slash c that has been ignored but if you want to ignore the string that is before that slash r that will be ignored that is what that means carriage written with backspaces okay that means you can understand uh, text before slash r will be ignored i will show you the exam you can see in slash c what happened this is ignored right we got only this first cap but if you are writing slash r then what happens you got only the text after this one but this is ignored got it that is slash r now the one more we'll see the next one that is slash a this is nothing but alert if you want to get any alert sound then whenever the output is displayed whenever the string is displayed if you want to have an alert sound then you can go with this one i'll show you uh, i'll write slash a here okay so what happens here did you hear that it is displaying alert okay that is what happens maybe uh, if i would have you know, muted from the, the desktop uh, voice no uh, sound then you might not be listening but try this one you will be getting a sound alert sound okay all right now one more option we have one more option called this is about uh, a hyphen e okay now let us see the options that are available with uh, echo let us see the fourth option the fourth option is star option now what is the use of this star option whenever we are star you giving star option it will print all the files that means folders similar to like displaying ls command now we will be learning about ls command so to list down all the files then we can go with this now how can we go with echo star that's all okay i'll show you echo star did you see all the files that are available in the root directory uh, i think i'm here all the files whatever are there that will be displayed here understood ls command we have already learned in the ls command what happens uh, it will display the color code color difference color color difference will be there directories will be display, represented with blue color text files will be represented with white color but here both mean the same but there is no color difference here okay now we'll see one more option fifth option with hyphen n now what is the use of this hyphen n is i told you by default echo will be adding uh, this uh, slash n like after printing the string new line character will be automatically added but if you want to remove that option then you can go with this one what is this this will omit uh echoing the uh, trailing uh, new line i 
I show the exam uh, difference here. Suppose if you write echo like this, then you will get an output like this. Suppose the same thing if I add hyphen n. Okay, then what happens? Observe the difference. Did you see this next command prompt next prompt has come in the next line, but here the by default which is added slash n will be omitted if you add this option hyphen n. Alright, so these are all the uh, options that are available with our echo command. I hope you all have understood this. Do practice all these options. Okay, so let us all meet with one more command in the next class. Until then, thank you all of you.